Hi, this is Stephanie with My Name Means Queen Designs. First off, I want to thank everyone for subscribing to my channel. I greatly appreciate you. So we can get right into it. Basically, this is going to be part two of how I created the Water Globe Rolling Tray. But you can market it as anything you prefer. You know, some place, somewhere to place your jewelry, your makeup, remote controls, anything. It does not have to be considered a rolling tray. So if you've seen part one, you should know what supplies you need. But I will be listing the supplies in the description. The first thing we're going to do is create the mold. Okay, so as I was saying, we're going to use the tray that we're going to make the liquid tray out of to create the mold. Now, I only have measurements for the Dollar Tree rectangle trays that you get. I have a, I had a lot of those, so I was able to practice with them. I'm going to try it on the oval tray once I get this one all the way down pat. Now, it takes about 8 ounces to make the size mold that I was successful with because you don't want to fill the tray up. You want to fill the tray uh, 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 not quite halfway up and that takes eight ounces. So I prefer Amazing Mold Maker because Amazing Mold Maker sets in 30 minutes. But whatever mold maker you have on hand and have access to, it'll work. Just make sure you're only mixing up eight ounces. So I'm going to go ahead and mix up some mold maker and speed past this part so we can get on to the next part so this part is pretty basic you're just going to mix up eight ounces of mold maker and place that into the tray you're going to use to make your liquid floating tray you're going to place your tray on a level surface so it can come out even when you cut your mold out because you do not want to have a lopsided mold so now we're going to the next part Okay, so the reason we're going to create a mold using the tray is that we're going to create what I call a resin bridge. And we're going to attach the one of the acetate sheets onto the resin bridge to make it easier to make a pocket for your oils and your shakers. So you can freehand it or you can do what I'm going to do and that is create a little template to cut it out because I can't cut a straight line. So what you would do is go into design space, upload a rounded rectangle, or you can pull up a rounded rectangle in Silhouette Studio. You're going to bring that onto your desktop. You're going to put the sizes as this. For the mold, you're going to be 5x4 by 8x5. By by For the what I call the seal acetate that you're going to attach to the resin bridge, you will do 5x65 by 8x80. By and you're going to cut those out. Cut two seal sheets out so you can have one as a template and one to use with your rolling tray. Okay, so basically my voice is not going to match the video, but this part is pretty simple. When you cut out your acetate sheets, you're going to mark one mold template so you'll know which one is the smaller one. You're going to put the seal um, acetate sheets to the side. You're going to, once your mold is dry, you're going to put center the mold template onto the mold and you're going to cut around it. I have to do that because I cannot draw a straight line. There's going to be plenty of people who can just put the mold in there, cut it around even, or you can cut shapes, whatever, whatever floats your mold. But you just got to make sure to cut around it and you're going to throw away the ex excess. Now, once you do that, you're going to keep the big piece, of course. You're going to take your tray that you should already have pre-prepped and place that tray, I mean, place the mold in the center of the tray. Now, you should already have some pre-mixed up epoxy resin. I already have some pre-mixed epoxy resin. So what I'm going to do is pour the resin around the mold. Make sure that your mold is fleshed down onto the tray so it won't leak up under. But most of the time, if it's level and flat, it will not leak under there. You're going to pour the resin around it. And it does not hardly take any resin to do that. About 30 milli milliliters or maybe less, it, just, it doesn't take hardly any. 
So you're going to place that resin around. You're going to, of course, pop the bubbles. Let the bu pop the bubbles out. You're going to place on a level surface. Definitely place it on a level surface so your bridge will come out even. You're not going to let it dry all the way. The reason for it is you want it a little tacky so when you attach the resin, the seal sheet, it'll stick to it without UV resin. Okay, so the resin bridge is partially dry. You don't want it to dry solid. You want to be able to fingerprint yourself in the resin. And I'm going to tell you why. So the resin should be dry enough for you to be able to pull this mold out without it dripping or, or, or leaking. But it still have some flex to it. So carefully let's take the mold out and put that to the side. And as you can see, it's a resin bridge. And it has a pocket for your oils and your shakers. My camera is not really that good and I did this by myself so as I practice this more I should get better at it. But I think you basically can see it. Now you're going to take the seal sheet and you're going to bind it to the steel flexible epoxy resin. But what you're going to do first is put your shakers or your pieces that you want to float around in the center of the tray you're going to take your pieces you're going to put them in the center because you're going to seal them in and then you're going to insert the oil later so try your best when you put the seal sheet on there not to shake it around because it can get stuck to the side because the resin is not completely dry and I don't know what I'm saying right here, but basically I'm probably saying be careful because shakers can get caught on the sides. And you're going to center the sealed uh, seal template sheet onto the steel flexible epoxy. And it'll bind to it real good. Like you're going to press it into it where you can barely see where the acetate sheet and the resin is combining go all the way around go all the way around with it make sure that you are pressing that acetate sheet not too hard into the steel flexible epoxy resin that's going to make the pocket that you're going to need to do to, then we're going to add the oil if you can see i can't move it too much because i don't want my shakers to move you're going it bonds with that steel damp epoxy pretty good okay so this part is again very basic what we're going to do is add a thin layer of epoxy resin on top of the acetate sheet to help it bond all the way to the resin bridge now this will help make the pocket sturdy so when you add the oil the oil doesn't bubble up in the middle because I had a big problem with me trying to add the oil now and then do the layer of epoxy where the acetate sheet bubbled up but if you do it this way it'll have it'll just lay super flat so basically put the epoxy resin on you're going to try your best not to move the shakers around it's pretty hard not to get some of them to move around, but if you figure out a better way to do it, then you let me know. You're going to blow the bubbles out and be ready for the next part. Okay, now as you can see, it has completely dried. The acetate sheet is pretty much securely bonded to the resin bridge. You can't even tell it's there. And as you can also see, some of the shakers got stuck in the epoxy. As I warned you, just be careful with that so it won't happen to you. Okay, so this is the final part. I didn't realize that I was off camera when I was drilling the hole into the resin. So my apologies on that. You're basically going to drill a hole into the resin. You got to make sure you're drilling it through the resin and the acetate sheet. And you're going to get one of the needle syringes with oil and put that in there. 
just make sure that you get all the way through the acetate sheet and the thin layer of epoxy resin as you can see there's no leaks no leaks it's in there sealed and it won't bubble up you're gonna try and get it halfway full or a little above above that you know just in the middle just enough oil to make sure your shakers can move around and you're pretty much done that's it's halfway full you see this hole i can't figure out how not to make that hole so noticeable but it's probably only noticeable to myself because i did it so what i'll do is just put a little sticker on there because it just makes me feel better to <laughs> try to hide it with a sticker even though i'm pretty sure no one else would notice but me so i'm just going to take one of these stickers and cut it out and place it over the hole and then put uv resin on top of it like so I'm going to put this little sticker on there. And at this point, please don't add me because when I add this UV resin, I put my finger all in it without a glove on. And I know that is a complete violation. So please do not do this. Always wear gloves. I guess I was in a rush. It was at the end. I was almost done. I guess I was so happy I was almost done. I just was rushing through the last part. So you're going to hit it with the UV light. To seal the hole up just hit it with the UV light and that's pretty much it you're gonna add one more layer of epoxy resin on top and that's it you pretty much to make your own liquid water tray that's everything I mean I appreciate you watching I hope you followed it well I hope I didn't go too fast but I consider this more of advanced course there you go thanks again for watching